Hello friends, how is it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Happy Halloween. It is the first look that I have done for the Halloween Halloween season. I'm so excited about this. I wanted to go with very just traditional purple and orange Halloween colors for this look and I am just so pumped. I can't wait to continue filming more looks. I love doing my Halloween series every year. It's gonna be a mixture of like glam Halloween looks like this, regular makeup content, vlogs. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm so looking forward to it. Before we hop into the video itself, let me just give you my details. These earrings are from Spooky Doodle Club on Etsy. I don't know where this choker is from because it's very old. I think I just found it like on Amazon or something. It was very random and this bralette top thing is from Blackthorn LA. I love it very much. So without further ado, let's just hop in and create some spooky cute Halloween eye makeup. Hi! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm filming the first look for Halloween. Um, where did the year go? I don't care because I'm so excited that it's this time of year. I've already done my concealer, bronzer, and powder, um, so we're just going to move right into blush and highlight and freckles and eyeshadow and things like that. Also, my hair is freshly curled and I'm just letting it sit, so that's why it looks like this right now. I'm gonna fluff it out at the end. So for blush, I wanna dip into my Likely Makeup Clown Blush Palette. And we're gonna mostly use the orange. I might dabble a little bit into the yellow. And we're gonna go heavy blush. It's gonna be very focused out here. Um, it's gonna be very cute. I'm gonna use my Alter Ego number three blush brush. What are you doing? I think this video is going up on October 2nd if my schedule stays the way I'm planning it. Right now it is actually September 7th. It's very early on, but we are going to Disney for the Halloween event tonight. So I figured tonight would be a great night to start filming for Halloween since I knew I wanted to do a Halloween-y look anyways. I mean, let's be honest, I've been dabbling in autumnal and Halloween-y looks for months now. <laughs> so my heart has been ready for a while, but now I can like really go into it. Oh, I love this blush. It's gonna look very intense at first and that is okay. What are you the most excited about this Halloween season? I actually don't know what I'm the most excited about. I feel like my initial answer would have been decorating my new house for Halloween, but I did that in August, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited to make yummy Halloween treats and maybe even do more decorating because I haven't finished decorating at this moment. I haven't decorated outside yet, so I'm going to do that probably within the next couple days. So that will have happened by the time this video goes up. We're going to Halloween Horror Nights in October. I am so excited. We're actually going to visit Tennessee in uh, early October for Zane's birthday as well. So it's gonna be nice leaving Florida and going somewhere that actually feels very autumnal. How many of you are terrified right now at my makeup? <laughs> so I'm just gonna wipe this brush very clean on a microfiber towel. And then I'm just gonna go back in with no additional product and just really start blending all at this to help soften everything. Trust me, once I have my eyeshadow on and it's super blown out and glittery out here, it's gonna go together really nice. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of the orange shade and just dabble a little bit across the nose. These blushes are very pigmented, so I'm not gonna go in too heavy-handed. A little goes a long way. And I do want most of the color focus to be on the outer parts of my face. And actually, I am gonna dip into the yellow just a teeny bit, just to kind of pounce here along the outer edges. Oh yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. So now I'm gonna take my face brush that I use for my setting powder and just kind of dabble over the edges as well to really help everything sink and melt into my skin. Yep, I'm loving it. I know that it looks crazy, but trust me, it'll all come together. All right, I'm gonna take my Freck XL to make some fake freckles. I'm just gonna add my little fake beauty mark under here, intensify the ones that I already have. And then I'm just gonna add a few freckles across the nose. I don't wanna be too overly freckled today. I really just wanna keep it concentrated along the center of my face. Kinda sort of just like this. And I'll start tapping out my darker ones. All right, so for highlight, I wanna dip into my BH Cosmetics Aspen Highlight Palette, because I think this kind of creamsicle golden orange shade will look really pretty with the blush that I have going on. I'm gonna take that on just this ColourPop F33 fluffy highlight brush and highlight my cheeks. Ooh, that is bright. I actually have not used this shade before as of this moment. And I like it. I like it a lot. Again, I'm just going to kind of take my powder brush from before 
just to make sure everything is meshing together nicely. All right, and for setting spray, I'm gonna use my Apocalyptic Beauty Pumpkin Spice Setting Spray. Tis the season for pumpkin spice setting spray. <laughs> All right, so for eyeshadow, we're gonna do a very blown out outer corner, orange glitteriness, and then purple across the lid. I just wanna go with super traditional Halloween colors today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna prime with the Smashbox Lid Primer in light. I'm gonna blend it out and I'm not gonna set it because you already know the deal. I don't prefer to do that. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to Disney. I haven't been since 2019's Halloween event. We usually go every year and obviously it didn't happen in 2020. So I'm super pumped to go tonight, you don't even know. Ooh, so much serotonin is about to be bestowed upon me. All right, so I wanna start with Itsy Bitsy from this little Hello Kitty Teeny Kini palette. I know this is a very summery palette, but the oranges in here are so rich and they get so deep and rusty and maybe not rusty, but just like bright but deep at the same time and that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna take this shade Itsy Bitsy, the deeper one. I'm gonna take that on this MOTD Eye Catching Crease Brush. This is basically just a really long pencil brush. And I am going to stamp this in the outer corner of my eye and start kind of dragging it through the outer part of the crease. I don't wanna carry this too much in the inner part of my eye because I want that to stay very much my purple vibe. So I kinda wanna do it where it's like a half cut crease and there's pretty much only the purple here. Like I don't want a lot of orange and then it just fades into the blown outness out here. You'll see, you'll all see. I am gonna heavily blow out this outer corner of the lower lash as well though. And again, I'm gonna be covering this outer area with glitter so if this gets blown out like extra far, it's all good. And if anything, I kind of want my eyeshadow and blush to really merge together. That's why I made my blush so incredibly heavy. It's kind of just what I'm feeling. All right, and now I'm gonna take Hula Hoop, this lighter orange, and I'm just gonna take a Juno & Co fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna start going to town along the edge of that darker orange. Just doing lots of teeny little swirls. I'm holding the end of my brush so that I have lighter pressure. And I'm just gonna go to town, swirling it about. I am a little sad about Disney this year though because they got rid of the Mickey's Not So Scary event and now it's the Boo To You After Hours Bash or something like that. And there's not gonna be a Hocus Pocus show anymore. And I love the Hocus Pocus show. It's okay, there's still gonna be the parades and the candy and the cute characters. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm just ready for some Halloween treats. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be like 90 degrees, but that's okay. <laughs> Here we go, that's looking good. I just wanted this outer area to be super blown out and grungified, bright orange, it's so cool. So now I wanna go ahead and do my half cut creasiness and I'm gonna use my NYX glitter primer for this. I use it with every shimmer ever. And I'm just gonna take my flat brush here and I'm just gonna put a little bloop on it, just like that. And I'm going to just throw it across the lid and I'm gonna kind of just pretend to cut out where that purple is going to be laying. And that way you can kind of get an idea of where you're gonna put it later, even though it doesn't really like show much. And then I just want it to fade into the orange out here. So I don't know if you can kind of get the idea. I want it to be just like a sharp cut and then just fade into orange. So for that, I'm gonna dip into my Lethal Cosmetics After Dark palette and I'm gonna take this shimmery purple shade right here. I don't know what it's called because I don't have the little insert with the names, but it's that shimmery purple shade. I'm gonna take that on my flat brush, same sticky side. Oh, this purple's so Halloween, I love it. I went through my palettes for like 20 minutes earlier deciding on which purple I was gonna use for this look today. And I'm just gonna start drawing my shape here in the front. The glitter glue really does help me to be super precise with this, so the shadow is more likely to just kind of stick where I put it. And having a flat brush really, really helps as well. It helps me stay super precise. Oh, I'm so excited that I'm filming for Halloween. My plan is to upload every single day in October this year, so we'll see how that goes. I'm excited. So now that I'm getting towards this edge, I'm just kind of lightly sweeping back and forth just to kind of soften that. And then I'm gonna take my brush that I used with the darker orange, no additional product, and I'm gonna do kind of the same thing, just kind of sweep and smudge. Making the blend perfect isn't like that necessary right here, because again, it's gonna get super covered in glitter, but I do want it to be fairly blended. 
as the background just in case any of it peeks through. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of the lighter orange on my fluffy brush and just do the same thing. Purple and orange as a general rule isn't always gonna like mesh together super seamlessly because they're fairly separate on the color wheel, um, but mattes and shimmers are fairly easy to make work together. Oh, I'm loving this so much. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so before we do glitter, I do want to just add uh, my inner corner highlight. I almost lost my train of thought. I'm gonna dip just into my highlight palette again, and I think I'm gonna take that same creamsicle shade. I think that'll be really cute. It's called Frostbite, but in my mind, it is a creamsicle shade. Okay, so for glitter, I'm gonna pop out my Apocalyptic Beauty All Hallows Eve glitter. I've been using this for years. It's just various different tones of orangey yellow. There's different chunky shapes in here, shapes of bats. It's so cute. Um, glitter disclaimer, chunky glitters like this are not intended for use around the eye area. Do as I say, not as I do. Be very, very careful. I'm gonna take some more glitter primer and I'm just gonna take this really old Urban Decay brush because I don't care if it gets nasty from glitter. It's been my go-to glitter brush for years. So I'm just taking some glitter glue on that and I'm just very lightly going to tap around the edge of my outer corner. I'm being careful not to sweep because I don't really want to disrupt the shadow underneath, but I do want to add that sticky base for my glitter to set. Then I'm gonna dip right into that glitter and just start going to town. Oh, I'm so excited. I love placing my glitter like this. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> I like to make sure I grab really small pieces, usually from the cap where there's like leftovers so I can kind of put the teeny pieces more around the outer part so that it kind of fades from chunkier to less chunky. I feel like I've used the word chunky a lot in this video. Kinda sort of something like that. Now we just have like a party of bats and magical Halloween goodness in my outer corner. Um, I'm gonna find something to use in my uh, waterline. I'm thinking a purple would be cool. And I'm gonna repeat it on the other eye, throw all my lashes and something on my lips and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here is the look complete. I feel like Halloween threw up on me and I love it. <laughs> I just love this bright dark orange with the purple. It's so cool and this glitter always makes me so happy. There's a high chance I'll use this more times this season. <laughs> the eye pencil I ended up pairing with this look is Psychedelic Sister from Urban Decay. I felt like it matched my lid perfectly. It has the right amount of metallic and it's the right shade. It's all good. My lashes are Nova from Lunar Beauty, and on my lips I went with Sugar Pills Teacher's Pet. This is one of my favorite orange lipsticks of all time, and it gets little kind of golden sparkles through whenever you smack your lips together. I love this look. I'm so excited. I'm in such a good mood. I'm so looking forward to the rest of this season. I'm probably gonna have so much of it pre-filmed by the time October even gets here, but I am just so pumped. I can't wait to go to Disney tonight, and I can't wait to continue on with this Halloween series. There'll be a mixture of Halloween-specific looks and then just regular makeup content as well, and a lot of vlogs this month. My plan is to upload vlogs all the time, so just stay tuned. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's zoom out and finish up this video. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you had fun hanging out with me doing some Halloween makeup. If you recreate any of my looks, please tag me on Instagram. I love seeing your work. You're so talented and it makes me so excited to see when you recreate my looks. If you made it to the end of this video, why don't you leave me a Halloween related emoji? And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all that good stuff. I post every single day on Instagram. You could subscribe here as well. I post most days normally, but I'm aiming to post every single day in October. Thank Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.